Hi, I'm Seamless, and in association with ADSR, <clears throat> this is another one of the workflow tips for FL Studio 12. If you like this content, feel free to subscribe to the channel, as there'll definitely be more. So this one's going to be about the note colors inside the piano roll. So if you go up here, you see that there's this big old green thing here, and I put down a note. Um, it'll actually show that, you know, that's the color of the note. Hooray! Now, the note color actually means something. You click on it, there's a list. Note that they are numbered, and not only are they numbered, but there's 16 of them. What else has 16 of anything? And a lot of you probably already guessed, MIDI channels. And if not, it's MIDI channels. So, I have here um, an, uh, a play insert, uh, instance from East West. I've got three instruments. I have a piano, some kind of brass thing, and a violin. All kinds of good stuff. Now, there's a number of different ways that you can do this. Sometimes you probably, you might have actually seen me do this if you've seen uh, anything on my own channel, where um, I will have different MIDI outs routing the ports coming in there, and, and each individual one gets their own thing for their own channel. And you can do that if you want, but if it's not, if it's not that complicated for you, like there's a lot of control that I may, may, may have required, you can also individually control the instruments by changing the MIDI channel. Inside uh, the play, and I know this is a tiny interface, but this is a particular matter. All you need to know is that there are three things, and they all have their own MIDI channel. Anything that accepts MIDI input and has channel sort of functionality, like contact, for example, will totally be able to do this as well, and this will work just like this. So if I put down the green note, it's the piano. If I put down the slightly other green color, it's the brass. If I put down the other third color, it's the strings. So this way, you can actually write in the same channel, and this is just the, the regular, the, just the play channel, and even in the same piano roll, you can write um, multiple instruments using the same thing, just by changing your mighty color notes. You can also change them in here in the uh, note properties window when you double click on a note, but I find it's easier just to do that, you know, up there. So that's pretty much that. There is also one extra cool thing you can do with uh, notes that isn't directly related to the MIDI channel shenanigans, although it is, you know, kind of a part of it. <clears throat> and it's it has to do with the um, it has to do with how uh, slide notes work. So if I have a note and I use a slide note, right? I'm just like we slide note. Come on, and I try to make a chord. What will happen is that the slide note, the slide, will go according to the note that it's closest to, or it's not that it's highest, we'll find out. So if I, if I put it here, for example, you can hear that it's moving up essentially one step. But then if I do that, it moves down a lot farther because it's moving from the, essentially the top note to wherever the slide is, regardless of however many notes are in between. So if I wanted to have independent slides, what I could do is I could totally use the, the MIDI note system, the color system, to have different slides. So if I have a non-slide note and then another one slide note, yeah, I can have them slide in different directions. So like I can have this guy go down and that guy go up. And I can have a note slide into something completely different. And like th this is this is pretty sweet. And as well, because we're doing this inside the same like, instance of Harmer as well, you might have thought before that if you wanted to do this kind of thing, you would have had to have a separate instance of Harmer. Well, you don't. You can do it and decide it's one thing. Provided, of course, you're using something that is an FL native plugin, since slide notes only work with FL native plugins. Anyway, there's that. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to ADSR and also myself. And as usual, have a nice day. Thanks a bunch.